Happy holidays. It's Josh Grillo from DirtyMarketingSecrets.com. Welcome to another episode of Deconstructing Direct Mail. On today's episode, I am going to break down a letter I just received from Dan Kennedy. Uh, this is a fantastic sales letter. On top of that, I'm going to give you a very simple checklist that you can use anytime you're doing your own direct mail. So let's get started. Okay, so here you go. We've got the envelope that we're going to be breaking down with a, a, a sales letter inside. So a couple of things I want to show you guys really fast on this envelope. Um, first thing is you'll see the return address is none other than Dan Kennedy. Now, I am part of the Glazer Kennedy local chapter here in San Diego. So I am part of the Dan Kennedy program. I have been part of it for a number of actually about a year and a half now. Uh, so this is a very targeted mailer. So you need to think about that when you're doing your own mailings. You want to make sure it's very targeted and it's going to the right people. Uh, the second thing I want to show you guys is right over here, the address. What you can see is they use that handwritten font that I talk about so much in these videos. So you always want to have the address in a handwritten style font. Either you write it yourself or you use a, a font that's printed that looks like it's handwritten. And then also you can see he's using none other than crooked stamps. And then one other thing I want to show you that's really cool is you'll see this. This says Top Secret Mission in red. So you're going to open this. I mean, top secret mission for new Glazer Kennedy members only. It really stands out. And then what he does is he puts this like, there's like a camouflage fatigue border on here. So it really ties in with the theme of a top secret mission. And then the last thing is this. Check this out. It's lumpy. See how lumpy this envelope is? It's very lumpy. So there's something inside here which, which is really going to make it stand out in the mail pile. So think about that when you're sending your own direct mail. What can you put inside your envelope that makes it lumpy? Now, uh, a little bit of housekeeping real fast. I'm shooting this video on my new iPhone 4S video camera. Um, the camera quality is just amazing, so I really want to test it out. So I hope it works out well. But let's, let's get inside this envelope real fast, and I want to see what we got. Oh, here we go. Check this out. So this is what was causing the lumpiness in our envelope it was a little military guy so check this out so for probably about two to three cents whatever they paid for this little tiny plastic military guy it was causing that lumpiness which is going to really make them stand out in the pile so again with your own mailings what can you put in there that makes sense for what you're mailing that gives it that lumpiness all right so lots of stuff going on with this sales letter. Uh, the whole goal of it is to actually get me to go to a two-day boot camp in Los Angeles. It's actually free. Well, it's a $97 refundable deposit, and I'm sure once you get there, over the two days, they're going to sell you everything they can. But let's let's go ahead and look at all the good stuff that's going on here. Again, they keep this military theme going on with this, uh, you know, the camouflage border. They got our army guy here. It really, really stands out. And they've got the nice red bold copy uh, for they, where they really want to draw your eye. And you can see this. It says warning nearly, let's see if we can get it to focus in here, nearly 185 Glazer Kennedy members are being called to duty. Training officially closes when all 185 seats are filled. So it is a limited event. So they're playing the uh, scarcity card here. But again, let's let's go ahead and scroll down here. Here's a nice headline. How to quickly and easily implement Glazer Kennedy marketing in your business for fast growth. Now they also have a, uh, let me show you here. They also have this nice real photo. It's not a fo stock photo as you can see. And they also have a, a caption underneath. Now, the thing is about captions, anytime you're using a caption in your direct mail pieces under a photo, you want to act, you want to make it so it's like a mini sales message. And that's exactly what they're doing here with this caption. You'll see it's not like a three or four or five word caption. It's actually a paragraph. It's a mini sales message selling this event. So think of that. Think about that with your own um, direct mail that you do. Now, look right here. They have this nice arrow. They want you to turn the page. And all they're doing is going through everything you're going to get by going to this two-day boot camp. But the one thing I want to show you is how many testimonials they have. Because the, the big thing with business is you can never have enough testimonials. It's social proof. So if you've got 10 testimonials, if you've got 100 testimonials, use them, all of them, in your direct mail. So look, here's number one. Let's see. There is, let's see here. Here is number two. Here's number three. 
And then you'll see here at the bottom, special bonuses for boot camp attendees. All right. Now we're getting into our bonuses. So again, really wanting to sell you on this event. Anytime you're doing your own direct mail, think about implementing some irresistible offers or bonuses in this case. So you've got a boot camp bonus number one. You've got a boot camp bonus number two. And the thing I like about these uh, uh, bonuses is they actually put a value to them. So you'll see a $300 value on this one. And the second one says a $97 value. So again, with your own offers, you want to make it a kick but irresistible offer, and you also want to make sure you put a deadline on that offer. Now, continuing on, uh, the next thing I want to show you here is, guess what? More testimonials. Here you go. Here's another testimonial, and they actually highlight in yellow the areas they really want to draw your eye to. Here is another testimonial. Let's flip it over. We're on the last page now of this, and what do we have? Even more testimonials. And then the last thing is they have a really nice um, call to action here. So join the growing army of business owners, entrepreneurs, and sales professionals growing their business in any economy. Register for the Fast Implementation Boot Camp today before it sells out. So they have a clear call to action. Anytime you're doing your own mail, think about what your call to action is going to be. And you want to make sure you have a clear way to respond. So here's how they do their clear way to respond. They give you an order form. So look, it's the Fast Implementation Boot Camp Mission Acceptance Form. They're keeping with the exact same copy they have on their sales letter. They already have it checked for, yes, Dan, mission accepted. They list everything you're going to get by coming out to this thing. So they make it sound like it's, it's an unbelievable offer. Um, and then you just fill this out. You can either fax it in or you can go to their website and register. And then look at this. Right at the end, and they do it in that nice kind of like a handwritten handwritten type font. This offer expires when all 185 spots are filled. So it is limited. So, again, this sales letter was well done. And knowing Glazer Kennedy and Glazer Kennedy style marketing, I will probably receive at least another two to three more sales letters for them before this event takes place. A couple big takeaways from this mailing. Takeaway number one is you can never have too many testimonials. If you got testimonials, use them. Put them in all your marketing, especially on your direct mail. Takeaway number two, lumpy mail gets opened. So think about Dan Kennedy. He used a little tiny army man to make sure that his letters stood out in the mail pile. What can you use in your letters to make sure they stand out as well? And lastly, don't forget my free checklist that will help you anytime you're doing your own direct mail. You can download the PDF at the bottom of this video. Happy holidays. It's Josh Grillo from DirtyMarketingSecrets.com. I will see you soon.